Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to calculate the percentage complete in a year of specific dates. Now this video comes as a result of being asked this question during the week. Uh, this person had a list of dates in a column and they needed to know the percentage complete of the year of each of those dates. So let's quickly get to the answer and we'll say a few more words afterwards. Now the result was to use the year frac function. So in column C here, C2, if I begin the year frac function, which is the year fraction representing of whole days between start and end dates. So if I trigger that, it will prompt me for the start and end date and also a question called basis. Now the start date for me is column A, A2, and the end date is column B, B2, and then you have this basis 65 and 360. Um, let me choose number one. And I'll close bracket on that, and the result is 65%, let's call it. Got some crazy decimals going on. Let me select that cell. And copy it down. I could always bring in some decimal places if I felt that to be relevant. But let me hide those, let's just round it to the nearest percentage. And that is how we can do it. The 25th of August is 65% through that year, 40% through the second year. Now the different values have got the same end date here. They could easily be different dates. And the question I was asked during the week, they were different dates. What I've done here though to show its flexibility is mixed up the start dates. Because quite often if you need this, you're not necessarily going to be finding the percentage complete of a conventional calendar year, a 1st of January to the end of December situation. It may be that you're working on fiscal years or that you, you have some other kind of uh, dates that calculate as a year for you in the work that you do, but doesn't necessarily relate to the kind of calendar year. So I've got these mixtures here, you know, the 10th of November, the 1st of April, and how, you know, it doesn't matter. Once you specify the start date, Excel will calculate, the year frac function will calculate the 365 or the 360 days in the future and what the end date of that year would be and then calculate your percentage within it as per the results on screen. So that is how we can calculate the percentage complete of a date within a year. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel.